Hi there. Here's the second part of the cast iron dinner I cooked while visiting my friends in New York for a few days. I wanted to give this one its own separate video because it's something that may appeal to a certain crowd, namely a recipe for basmati rice prepared by none other than Alastair Crowley. There have been many books written about Crowley and many written by Crowley himself, but I'm just here to talk about his cooking. In addition to being a pioneer of modern-day occultism and also a world-class explorer and adventurer, he was also quite a cook, and one of his specialties was serving hot curry dishes. And while the curry dish I'm showing here was mild compared to what he made, it still had some heat to it. And because of this, I'm glad to present to you Alastair Crowley's basmati rice recipe. You can serve this as a side dish with any curry dish, and it's sweet enough to help cool down the heat. Of course, the rice is wet because we have to wash it. We actually start off by deviating from Crowley's recipe because he gives instructions on how to prepare basmati rice. What we have here is an alternate but very simple method for making white basmati rice that's as easy as cooking regular rice. The trick is to use less water than what we normally use when cooking rice. Bring it to a boil without covering it, then we add the lid, lower the heat, and let the rice simmer for 12 minutes. After that, we remove it from the heat and let it rest for another 10 minutes. And then our rice is ready, and all we do is mix in the rest of our ingredients. By Jove, I believe it worked. Considering what this is being used for, Jove may not be in, an inappropriate entity to thank. Starting with two tablespoons of softened butter. Mix this in, and then we can add in pistachios, slivered almonds, and sultanas. These nuts and fruits are what give an exotic taste to the rice, and you really need to give this a try. After this, we mix in some ground cloves and ground cardamom. Then we add in some turmeric. As Crowley says, stir until all is uniform, a clear golden color, with the green pistachio nuts making it a poem of spring. Crowley intended this recipe to cool your palate after eating a blazing hot curry. Serving this rice dish with curry will indeed produce a magical and mystical taste combination, even though the curry doesn't have to be blazing hot. By itself, the rice is excellent, but when served as a side with a steaming curry, it's as heavenly as sunrise in the heights of the Asian Himalayas. And one more thing. This curry and rice dish was delicious, but my friends also said it was a carb overload and it put them into a food coma. So I guess if Alistair Crowley cast any kind of spell or curse on this dish, it would be a sleep spell because this will certainly make you sleepy afterwards. But that's hardly a bad thing. And this was an excellent meal I'll gladly make again the next time I have friends over and we engage in some cast iron cooking magic. Thank you for watching.